editor Lisa Schroeder joins us now. Lisa, I, I see this big hunk of meat sitting right here, and you say this is easy, easier than it's, turkey or it's ham. It's really easier than turkey or ham, and because you don't have skin to deal with, and it doesn't have to look to totally gorgeous when it comes out of the oven. Net net is you can buy this at Costco. You buy this hunk of meat. It's listed. It's on the package. It says ribeye. Okay. So nowhere does it say prime rib. It's called ribeye. Ribeye, and, and it's, it comes it's a whole ribeye. Like this. Is there bone in there? That's right. No, there is no okay. bone. All you need to do in order to prepare this is just cut off. There's one big hunk of fat, which you want to cut away. And then on the other side, there's a little bit of um, sinew left from the attachment to the bone. Okay. That's all you have to do to prepare this. Okay? All right. Now, it's you really got this simple. at Costco. Real quick question for you. Yes. What What is this, uh, this size of meat? What's that going to run you cost wise? Uh, it's going to be almost um, $90. Oh, my. It's okay. about $7 a pound this time of year. But you know what? It goes down to five when it's not Christmas time. But this is significantly cheaper than if you were to buy it at the butcher. They would charge you upwards of $10 a pound for something like this. So if you can at least just get this one piece, you will feed 20 people easily. Okay. So you cut away this big piece of fat right here. And then there's what's called the chain down along here. You just cut that off. It's really, it really is simple. Wow, you're doing it right here on live TV. Well, live life. TV. Well, I just want to show everybody. They yeah. just cut that off. Okay, if a little bit left, that's all right. Then you just throw it Holly, on a rack. you wanted some here. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. Throw it on a rack or the broiling pan that comes with your, um, with your stove. Mm -hmm. Again, just a little bit of extra trimming of sinew is important. Now, do you want to leave some of that on there? Is it, you fat don't want to try good. to get all off. Exactly. Not the fat, but the sinew, yes. There's muscle tissue. There's um, silver skin that is not tasty and not easy to chew. Too. But fat is good because that'll uh, moisten and mm -hmm. baste the meat. Okay. All you need to do, you don't even have to tie it up. Just season it generously, and I mean generously, with salt and pepper on all sides. Turn mm -hmm. it around. And then wow. what you're going to do is put it in a 350 degree oven. 350. And start checking it about after an hour. Mm -hmm. And the most important tool you need besides an oven is an, in, is an instant read thermometer. Poke it in the fattest part. If you like it medium rare, pull it out at 115. Set it on the counter. Let it sit there for 15 minutes. It'll continue mm -hmm. to cook. That's called carryover cooking. Then all the drippings that have come in the pan, that can become your jus. You just put a little water in the pan, move it around on the stove, and then you've got the sauce for the That's prime great for the, for the dipping in there. And, and what about when you go, when it's time to slice it? Is there a right and a wrong way to cut the prime rib? Just cut it uh, against just the right grain like this okay. way. And as I said, get this in, in, instant read thermometer. Really important for cooking it to the right temperature. So, so after an hour, you start checking it, and, the, and that's when you cut and the ballpark. And you can get it. all the temperatures on the web. Okay. You can look that okay. up. Okay, great. That's, that's great stuff. Thank you so much. My pleasure. I guess this, this is a little rare for my taste. I like it rare, but this is a little <laughs> bit rare. Thanks so much. Holly, over to you.